Amazon just delivered, so I thought I would do an unboxing since the weather is craptastic outside. We're going to stay inside where it's dry and warm. So I'm going to share what I got with you, uh, share with you what I got. So a lot of you that have been here for a while know my husband Pete travels for work quite often. And when they travel, his work's hotel chain of choice is Marriott. And so Pete joined the Marriott reward program. So every time they stay at one of the Marriott chain hotels, he earns points. And then these points uh, you can redeem for rewards towards free night hotel stays. Or there's an option where you can purchase gift cards with your points. And Amazon is one that's on that list. We have done this before. And... Uh, Pete's been traveling so much that he has a lot of rewards banked up. So we decided to use a little bit and he bought me a gift card to spend on whatever I wanted. So I purchased a few essential things that I've been needing and just some want items. And so I'm going to share that with you today. This is not my first Amazon order of the new year. Uh, this is the first Amazon haul of 2024. My first purchase actually was something I didn't plan on purchasing. Bummer. But I'm kind of happy about it. I purchased this. Uh, at the beginning of the year, our coffee pot decided to just take a dump. It quit working. So we recycled it out and I bought this guy. And this is awesome. I love the idea of having a two-in-one coffee maker so when Pete is home, we use the big 12 cup pot for coffee. And when he's not home, I just do the single serve because I don't need a whole pot of 12 cups of coffee by myself. Although in the past, before we got this guy, I would make a full pot of coffee. And then like what I didn't drink, I would just put in a container and drink as cold brew the next day because I am not going to waste coffee. I love coffee way too much. So that was my first purchase of the new year. This will be my first haul. So let's get into it. I'm a little excited. I've had a little too much coffee. Speaking of coffee. <laughs> ah, so how are you guys? Are you enjoying your year so far? Anybody doing anything super fun? I don't have any travel plans yet, but that's always subject to change as the year progresses. All right. So this first box, uh, we have some essentials in here. I have uh, some shampoo and conditioner. It's the thick and full biotin and collagen. Looks like that. We have some aluminum free deodorant in the scent lemon and bergamot. It's the Tom's brand. This smells really good. Uh, I've been drinking a lot of tea this winter, so I bought a bunch of different flavors. This one here is lemon and ginger. It's a fruit flavored infusion with spices. This is by the brand Taylor's. Oh, there's a couple things. I gotta go get some. Hold on, I'll be right back. A few moments later. I had to grab a couple things because there's things in here that will make more sense with the props that I just grabbed. So I bought this. I'm going to take it out of the wrapper so we can see it better. Oh, wowie, that's beautiful. It's a cake of yarn. Oh, it's the Yarn Art Flowers Moonlight. Oh, that's stunning. What is the color called? I don't know, but it's a cotton. Well, it says it's 53% cotton, 43% pack, 4% metallic polyester. Huh. But I think that's beautiful. And the way it'll work up, oh my gosh. It's got like a little bit of white and it like, what is that? Like an ombre effect? It goes into a a light gray, and then it gets darker and darker, and then it's black, and it's got like speckles of silver throughout it. My plan with this guy is to make a shawl 
So recently I went to a yarn shop here locally called Ritual Dyes. And outside the store, they have one of those fiber libraries where you can take yarn and or whatever and make something out of it. So I, I found a Ziploc bag full of little balls of yarn and I used it to make this shawl. It's really hard to see it, but I, I did post a photo of it on Instagram and there's a TikTok of me showing it off as well. I want to make another one of these, but in this. I think that would be so beautiful. So that's what that's for. So I'll just throw that back there. Um, and then the last thing in this box is this little bag of blue buttons. The reason for these guys is um, I'm restocking my plushies for vending events. I'm not going to be vending until September, and I know it's kind of early to be thinking about Halloween events and stuff happening in September this time of year, but when you're a crafter, you have to plan early because it takes time to build up your stock making things. So I remade Ash because the last one I made sold, and he has some buttons that go down his shirt and I ran out. I didn't have any more of the right size or the right color, but now I do. So to finish him up also about three, three or four buttons down his shirt. And then I have to paint his boomstick, his, his pistol. Um, Pete 3d printed that for me and then it'll go in his little harness pack back here and he'll be done and be ready to go into my vending stock. Ash from Ash versus Evil Dead. All right, let's clear some space and open up this next box here. What's in the box? <laughs> All right, we have some more tea. Oh, I can smell that too. That smells amazing. We have same brand, Taylor's. This is the apple and cinnamon fruit flavored infusion with spice. I'm really excited to try this. That sounds awesome. And then this one is an Earl Grey tea. It's black tea with natural flavorings. I love Earl Grey tea. I think that's my favorite black tea. Mmm, gosh, that smells so good. Another daily essential is this Nivea cocoa butter. It's a uh, 48 hour moisture body cream. It, it's got deep nourishing serum, cocoa butter, vitamin E. I use this every single day before I go to bed and also in the morning when I wake up, I put it on my face, especially in the winter time. I need to moisturize way more often because the weather is brutal. I also put it on my elbows and my hands. With me crocheting a lot more, you know, the fibers from the yarn dry my hands out. So I'm always using some kind of moisturizer and this is my favorite it smells amazing it goes on nice and thick but not greasy it's awesome and the last thing in here is something i really really need this is the whole reason i wanted the gift card was to buy some new tennis shoes because the ones i have i love my sketchers but they're so worn down that they're not they're not very safe. Um, like th there's no traction, no tread on them anymore. So they're, they're done for their time to out with the old in with the new. And so I went with a different brand because these were just a little bit cheaper than the sketchers I normally would buy. Plus I thought they were really cute. So hopefully these work out nice. They're these, they're Puma. Is that the, yeah, Puma is the brand name. Very nice black and pink tennis shoe. Nice heavy duty protective from the elements. And it has a built in arch support and gel soft foam insole thing. So I think that's gonna be quite lovely for my feet. Yay. That is awesome. I'm so excited. All right, that is it for my Amazon haul today. I hope you enjoyed seeing what all I bought with that gift card. 
not too shabby considering it didn't cost anything. <laughs> uh, reward points just for Pete doing his job. Awesome. Thank you, Pete. <laughs> Thank you, Pete's job for all the travel perks. Um, that's going to do it. I'm starting to babble and I have things I got to go get to and get done. So I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.